Good morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I give praise to God for Be You Say Bye. I'm Evangelist Donna Jones. This is my brother, Daryl Neither. This is my daughter, Stephanie Clemens. Mm -hmm. And my other daughter, Kimberly, she's out there in the audience. Hey. Neverland. She's out in Neverland. And I just give praise and honor that we are still alive. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. We're Hallelujah. here. Another, new, another day, new mercy. By his grace and mercy. mercy. Grace. That we have another opportunity to get it right. And I'm telling you, I am working on me. So I thank God for be you say bye. That to anything that hinders you from being the woman or the man that God has called. Kick everything to the curb that's not like God. That's hindering you from being the queen or the king. Being a mother, being a father, being an auntie, uncle, cousin, niece, whatever it is. That you be the best that you know how to be. I'm excited because you know what? I already know that God has already provided the way. All I have to do is walk in it. Amen. 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 And, and, and my book is even saying to walk in forgiveness. Anybody have to walk in forgiveness? Yeah. Mm. I'm telling yeah. you, we say that it's hard, but it's a choice. It's not like we got to work at it. It's just a choice. It's a mental choice to walk in forgiveness. And there, there were times back in the day, I didn't want to walk in no forgiveness. You didn't hurt my feelings. You didn't poke your finger in my face. You didn't talk about me. <laughs> okay. okay, was that good? Was that good? Was that? <laughs> Persecuted me like you did, like they did Christ. And then you want me to turn around and give you a hug, as, as my husband, Pastor Jones, says, and buy him a candy bar? Duh! <laughs> but as I flow in the Word of God, and I learn the Word of God, I mean, I'm telling you, this is a learning process. But I'm, I'm like some say, it doesn't take forever and ever and ever and ever. You know, it's, it's a, I got to make up my mind. It says, Choose this day, it, even though it says choose this day whom you're going to serve. Choose this day if you want to be um, forgiven. For, mm. Forgive the person. You well, know? if you yeah. want forgiveness. Uh, right. The Bible tells you you can't get no forgiveness if you ain't willing to give forgiveness. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, the fact of the matter is, it is a choice. And you do have to work at it. Yeah. Practice, and practice. the Lord knows that you have to work at it, but it's something that you got to want. Right. Because some people don't want to forgive people. Yeah, right. Been I have heard people say, oh, no, yeah. no, 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 that right. person done this to me, and I'm not forgiving them. Well, that person dead now. Uh, no, you didn't well, say that. that. Yeah. I mean, this true story. How can you keep holding on to that? It's not hurting them. They don't. It's hurting you. Well, I just can't see myself ever forgiving somebody like that. Okay, you want to hold on to it. See, that's the trick of the devil. I always, you know, that's the trick of the devil. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? See, and anything, have you ever noticed that uh, whatever you do becomes a habit? Mm -hmm. When you feel an anger, it becomes a habit. Yeah. Day in, day out, mm -hmm. you know. If you are 50 and mm -hmm. you've been mad since you were 13, <laughs> you know. Oh, did you hear her? Yeah, you well. Know, you know I'm close to 50. Are you talking about oh, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to be bragging about, yeah, and I. this is what the Lord does for me. Keep me looking good. <laughs> you don't worry about the unforgiveness, right? Don't, uh, don't worry but, uh, about the unforgiveness. You know, uh, the thing of it is, is that um, you have to want to have peace in your heart. And you cannot have peace in your heart if you're running around here talking about you hate somebody. Mm -hmm. What kind of peace is that? Mm. Not only if you, you know, not only because you hate somebody, but because somebody done something to you. You know, I had a problem, and, you know, I, I'm still dealing with dealing it? with this. I mean, but, you know, you, before you know it, you react to stuff before you actually think about you, before mm. you take that microsecond to say, am I going to act a fool? 
or I'm going to do this the way I'm right. supposed to do it. <laughs> you have that second, and we don't use that second all the time cause, because we go on emotion. Well, you know, what you're saying is true, but I found that you, you are know when you forgive a person, when you can see that person, and it's like nothing ever happened. Mm -hmm. That's when you have truly forgiven a person. But it did happen. Uh -uh. And all I'm saying is that you don't have to react to it because yeah. it will pop up. Well, that, that yeah, but the practice, the practice that you're talking about of, of forgiveness, and, and, and I feel like you go to Jesus and say, look, I'm carrying this thing and I'm trying to give it to you and you're not taking it the way I think you should take it. Take it away from me. I don't want to, see, mm -hmm. I don't want to keep going Dwell over it. it and, oh, okay, it happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, it happened. However, most things that happen in your life, and you're angry about the other person ain't thought nothing about it. You know what I mean? Most right. things. You know, I know I have hurt people in my day. <laughs> you know? yeah. In the past, last yeah. night. But, <laughs> but, but I have had people come up and say, yeah. do you remember doing this, doing that? No, I don't. And don't you to remember. God don't you know, remember. Now, if you're carrying it, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? If you're good. carrying it, you're carrying it. But I have forgiven myself, and God has forgiven me. I really wish you would forgive me, but what you're talking about, mm -hmm. I don't want to hear it. The other you know, day. I'm not going to go down that road. And this is how you have to look at trying to get, trying to give forgiveness. You have to think about some of the things you didn't do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how come it's hard for me oh, to understand yeah. how yeah. people hold on so hard to uh, different things because and or or they don't want to forgive another person when you went through all this yourself and now and but and now you you see it so wrong in another person but you didn't you never yeah. saw it wrong in you when you did it right you know and it's almost like <clears throat> they take it for granted you know okay well you can't did and you can't do this and you can't say that and shame on you excuse me but now i remember when you had a hard time talking about you didn't forgive. What makes you think that somebody else is going to forgive so quickly? It took you a while to forgive. It took me a while, uh, you know, a long time to forgive. But the more, the more I get into the Word of God, the more I have a little passage here, and it, and it says, and I, this is what I said because I found this okay. in here. And I said, Father, I repent of holding on mm. to bad feelings. Here we <clears throat> Toward others, no way. <laughs> I bind myself to godly repentance and loose myself from bitterness, resentment, mm -hmm. envying, strife, and unkindness. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think I have to take one at a time because I hear a lot of people talking about me. And I don't see what they see in me. And now, as I begin to look in the mirror and look in the Word of God, I see some of the things that I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm mean. You're learning enough to clean up yourself now. Right. I'm, le yourself. I'm working on uh, being a, a little bit more quieter and, and listen, like where people, uh -uh, people say we. <laughs> but there's some things that I can do. You know, because I'm watching myself, there's some things that I see that I do that ain't nice. Mm. I mean, y'all laughing no, at me? No, no, I, I like me. that. I, like I don't that. know what you, no. what you do. I'm, mm. But I do. I see the things where I, I can be harsh. My heart is saying I want you to be delivered, but then it ain't coming out like that. The real Donna's coming out. Mm. And so, um, I don't want to give too much, too, too, too much ammunition for them. Well, no, 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 no. All you because, saying Because you know, I'm no. working on me, and I know they, they ready to pounce. Well, I, actually, I see where you're working on you. You know, I mean, really, I see where you more acceptable to criticism. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and the first thing in order to uh, forgive. Is the first thing mm -hmm. you have to do is look Keep at yourself. Myself. Know where you at. Yeah. And you need to, the Bible just goes over and over. Mm -hmm. Clean up yourself. Mm -hmm. Change mm -hmm. the way you think. Mm -hmm. Quit worrying about what happened to you in the past. That's the past. Right. Yeah. Now you can keep going back there if you want to, 
but you can't go back there and move forward too. Mm -hmm. You try backing up and going forward, and you're going to end up right. in the same spot. Right. right. So therefore, he says, do one or the other. You know, if you want to live in the past and hold on to that bitterness, then you do that. But if you can't forgive, don't look for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And then. See, and that, that, that's a heavy, heavy thing. That is, because it can be per that's you, personal. You, yeah. And yeah. you got to release person. that person. Real personal, yeah. because that's the people that you be like, okay, <laughs> I never thought that they would have. Yeah. You know, and I mean, that's I, I went through that uh, a couple of weeks ago. But mm -hmm. I think now I'm learning that, like he said, if I can't forgive that person for saying that or doing that, <clears throat> how do I expect somebody else to forgive? And What's that scripture? Me, God said, if you don't forgive, I don't forgive you. I remember much is given, much is required. Ooh, you better so break that one Much down. is given, right, much is I required. Know. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Required. That's required of me. Yeah. It's just, that's I, just it's required. Just, that's, that's, you are expected to walk in the light. Yeah. And when God has showed you uh, mercy and, and favor, Grace. then what are you going to do? Right. Right. Are you still going to hold? If, 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 if Jesus forgave on the cross mm -hmm. and said, Father, mm -hmm. forgive them for they know not what they do. Who are we not to? How are you going to say, oh, so-and-so yeah. said something to me and I'm, huh, I ain't going to never forgive them. I, that, <laughs> we, that is so true because I have really not understood that God forgave us from, from the beginning to the and all the way to the end. And then we can't love. We can't. By the grace of God, there we go. See, but because of his love, he, he forgave us for our sins. And then we take what God has given us as a free gift to love one another. What makes us think that we are exempt from doing what God did? Selfishness. Who, selfishness. But it's just to know well, that God forgave me when I was here, Here's the thing. Most people terrible. look at it like, Okay, God loved you. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> at least somebody did. You know, okay. that's, that's how people would look at it. But love, there's a worldly love and there's a godly love. Copy. And a godly love forgives all. There's no exception. In the world, you know, in the and, world. And he looked past. And uh -uh. he looked past. Who is unconditional, shows unconditional love? Do you guys? Uh, is there stipulations with your love? Be, I mean, no, think we, about I mean, it. No, no, no. Can we bring that back to you? No. No. <laughs> All I'm saying. <laughs> All I'm saying is when you say unconditional love, unconditional, mm -hmm. no, nothing's tied into it. Right. I, I ain't met a person like that yet. You don't think so? No. Uh, are you, well, it, it, you know, and I it don't it, it, have uh, some kind of attachment. And that's what I think that we all are working on. Yeah, that's, that's what all we're of, working and that's, on. And that's fine. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, a lot of people say, girl, I, I love you unconditionally. Yeah. No, I, you no, don't. No, you, no, 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 you no, said, no, and then that, the way no. they said <laughs> make me think, you just trying to appease me. Well, that's You're what, not yeah. saying it well, out only of love. Because but I don't know what's going on on the inside because they really, truly believe that they're loving unconditionally. Only only person will know that you're well, not loving unconditionally is God. But it's just how you present yourself. It's how you say things. But well, just when you, you know, just think about it overall. One of the things people get messed up, and my mother, God bless her, she used to say, She's alive. I, is she I listening? God, well, God, is God she listening? Yeah, she, she's 101. Is she listening to and what you're getting I, ready to say? Well, no. I'm hoping, <laughs> but she would always say, son, I love you, but I can't stand you. I no, love you because you're mine. That's mama. I love you because <laughs> you're mine, but I don't like your ways. Right. right. That's okay. Yes. In other words, yes. what she's saying is, you I love. Your ways. That ignorant attitude you got, that foolish thinking you doing, I ain't on that. Mm -hmm. Don't agree with none of it. You see, so you can <laughs> have other Conditional but, love. Her love is mm -hmm. unconditional because I she still loves me, mm -hmm. but she's not putting up with the nonsense. But you that's what, what that's God. So, so you have to understand yeah. the difference of saying unconditional. 
But God puts up with the nonsense. But what God, but what <laughs> God, no, yeah, but God loves us. But it says that some things stink to His nostrils. Yeah, and and it's, it's not pleasing to His ears. But he, He's not going to stop loving us because that's the reason why we got Jesus Christ and that's so that what we grace can is all about and get ourselves white as snow again it, it, and cleansed from all of our filthiness and evilness right. and meanness. So, but He our worldliness. I, he, but He. Uh, he, he, he will never stop loving us. And I believe that there are a lot of people that love people, that, but the only thing is some of the things that they do. Like, for instance, I got a perfect example. I love this, you know, people, but me, I, I don't want you uh, uh, cussing. Say, for instance, we, we just we talking and we having a good time, and then, bam, all of a sudden, <laughs> you, you're cussing. You just start cussing. I, you know, and I, I don't cuss. And so I'm like, that's one thing that I've really been delivered of. I don't cuss. And sometimes it, because I'm around it, it go in my head and I rebuke those thoughts. But I'm saying, oh, this person, I'm not, and I'm not even going to say a Christian or a sinner or whatever. I'm not going to divide them because we both do things we ain't got no business doing. But just, I say, Girl, man, ooh, y'all, you gotta stop that cussing. I can't stand it. That's that don't mean that I don't love them. That's conditions. Well, but but God, it, God don't like it either. But it's the condition. Okay. But, it, but it, love it, is not. It's un, I unconditionally. You don't, I don't love have nothing, them regardless. But but that cussing interferes with my spirit, and it gets into my spirit, and it goes to my head. And so I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I don't love the person. Well, you know. I mean, we do, all of us do things. Uh, some of the conditions uh, that Stephanie, is, uh, I believe you're looking for, is to be able to say, yeah, they're conditioned to my love. I want you to grow as, as wide and big as you can. So, yeah, they're conditioned. I want, if I see something wrong, I need to tell you. But then it's not going to change my love or anything mm -hmm. like that, but I want you to grow in the right way. You know, so if you're cussing, and I know it's not pleasing to me, and it's not pleasing to God, and, 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 and it's holding you back, mm -hmm. but you don't see it, then it's up to me to tell you that. And I don't have to like that cursing. Why is it up to you to tell me that? When because God, one, I'm because doing you're it, my sister. Yeah. And I know it's wrong. You know, well, you're my niece, but you know. Uh, yeah, so, but see, but you, I'm aware that it's wrong, but I'm doing it. Well, sometimes, well, okay. Out of so whatever reason. you don't reasons. have to stop. But it's up to me to let you know how it's really looking. Now, I put the ball back in your hand, and if you want to continue, choice. Yeah. fine, but you've been told. Yeah. And these are the things that you will answer to later in life. I got to say this real quick. And that's because somebody's out there listening that we are going on scripture. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because this is from Romans 12, 16 through 18. And it says here, from this moment on, that's, from this moment on means that's a choice. And it says, I purpose, I purpose Donna Jones. I can't tell nobody else. I'm like, you know, Stephanie, I can't tell nobody else about me. But like you just said, I can say that we're supposed to pull each other up. That's what you're yeah. basic. We're supposed to pull each other up. Because I think a lot of times people, it's a habit of doing different things. Because I've heard somebody tell me one day, did I do that? I said, yeah, you was just an MFing and cussing and Donna, no, I didn't. Because it's such a habit. It's just a habit sometimes that we do. We do things, we say things. And I, when I first got saved, I was like, uh, a, a lady was telling me, Rose Gaither. And girl, you know how to cuss. Rose didn't cuss, she was a Christian, begging me to go to church. And you know, I'm, mm, 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 mm. and she said, Donna, when I come around, I hate it when you cuss. And so that made me conscious that of, I'm, what, you're doing. of what I was doing. It yeah. took a while for me to stop, but I made a choice. And it says here, I purpose to walk in love. I, I wanted to walk in love. And I had these habits going on. And uh, to seek peace with her, uh, to live in agreement, and to conduct myself toward others in a manner that was pleasing to God and her. God right. was first. God so if first. she was bringing that to me, 
that made me me personally say, wow. Yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm really messing this up. This, I'm hurting her feelings. And this, 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 what you say is out, out of the out, Bible. Out of, but something happened to me. I guess about a month ago, I was talking to a friend of mine, and uh, I, I can call him. I don't know. E, e Matt. Uh, 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 Mabel's son, okay. uh, Pookie, yeah. and we were talking and we was on a serious conversation and all of a sudden I said something and I started cursing, no, you know, I know. and he was looking at me so far, what, what, why are you looking at me? He said, man, I have never, now, <laughs> I know this can't be true, but he said, man, I've never heard you curse. Wow. Now. People have only been a Christian, what, six, seven years? Well, I've been a Christian all my life, but I've only been active, you know. So I know you've heard me curse, spooky. Uh, uh, but, uh, but it surprised him yeah. because he's looking at the new me. And I, and, and I knew immediately that I had hurt him. Wow. See, so it wasn't no longer about the, 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 whether I want to or don't want to. God tells us to walk in a way that is pleasing in him and to uplift Don't your brother, block, whether, uh, whether yeah. we, regardless of who he is. Mm -hmm. See, and this is why you forgive, because at one time you was that person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we made mistakes. So back to the forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to allow people to make mistakes and, and, yeah. and pray for them and hope mm -hmm. that, that someday they come and to terms with that, right. you know, because if everybody held things against one another, man, mm -hmm. I'd be in some serious trouble, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Because okay. I didn't, you know, the, <laughs> one of the most, in, when, I, when, when I really gave my life up to Christ, now I've always had a good family, but they ain't giving me no checkbooks and stuff, no, no, a, ATM card, no, you, Darryl, no, you just, look. <laughs> You had your limitations. They all we locked just, our doors. They, they knew <laughs> immediately it was something about me that they say, he's different. Mm -hmm. And everything that I had lost in the world for dignity, pride, Integrity. prideful, not, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, well, I mean, pride is something to I hold know. your head, you know. Okay, okay. And, and, and that, 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 that worthy. Great fall. That worthiness. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Came back. God brought it all back. That's right. He does. You know, yeah. and since then, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, you, you <laughs> can you. It, when you get to that point, I think it's come so much easier to be able to forgive, mm -hmm. because you look at God and say, "Man, there's some of the stuff. I, at least yeah. me. Some of the stuff I've done." Man, you, you know, for that. And, and, he, and, and why? That's it. Man, he I forgave got some me grimy for stuff now. <laughs> okay, and I got some real grimy like stuff. I try to tell people, I said, I tell you what I want you to know. I don't tell you everything, mm -hmm. but I do know that God forgave me, and I forgave myself. But it ain't for you to know. And that's how it is about them out there. You don't tell all your business to somebody. No. You tell it to God. You tell it to God, and God, uh, God already it. forgave you 2,000 years ago. But he just wants you to come to him as a daughter or a son, talk to him like you talk to your girlfriend or your boyfriend, and, and then just give him, spill your guts out to him because he's the one that can forgive you. He's the one that wants you <clears throat> to be at peace. Just like it says here, it is written in the word that the love of God has been poured forth into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has given, he, he gave that to us to do that, to do what God said do. We got, uh, like you said, things have happened, but I look at, look what I did to somebody. Look what I said to somebody. Look what you said to somebody. Look what you went and told somebody about somebody. We got to get to the point where we line this up with Christ. We got to get to the point where we can stop gossiping about one another. Your husband, your wife, your kids, your dog, your job, your balls. We got to get to that point where, <clears throat> I, I, I got this respect. word, but I begin to respect, begin to bring out the character that God has in us. And it, it, it's, it's, it's more peaceful. It's more peaceful. It is so much 
peaceful when we do it God's way. So I'm excited about learning to forgive and, and not looking <laughs> at a person and thinking 20 years back when I yeah. used to know you see, them. That, you, know, you know, one of the most beautiful things in the world and the Bible talks about peace, that inner peace. Mm -hmm. In order to have inner peace, you can't hold on to that. You can't hold you on, can't to, hold on that to that junk. No that, there's that you scripture, know. 1 Peter 5, is it 1 Peter 5 and 7, where, where it says, cast all your cares. You, it, Wait, yeah, cares she's going to she, cast all your cares on him for he, yeah. he cares for us. Cast all your cares. Whatever happened in the past, it happened in the past. But, but guess what? Here's the most important thing. You're still here. You're mm. still here. You, you're still it here. Did, it didn't to, kill you. It didn't kill you. And it it's not going to kill you because they, they, like you said earlier, they gone. You know. Or if they, even if they're still on earth. Yeah. When God saved you First and forgave Peter. you, what is it? First Peter 5, 7. Read it. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. See, he cares for us so much that he don't want us to worry. You know, he don't want nobody out there to worry. There's a thing where, uh, and I think I mentioned it on one show before, that uh, if a person look at this <coughs> right, mm -hmm. the Bible tells you all things work what for the glory of, of, of the Romans kingdom. 8, 28. So Ephesians when that person... Have, okay. When that person went through a, 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 a tribula trial or tribulation or mm -hmm. uh, 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 death situation where somebody had come and, and maybe shot them or robbed them or mm -hmm. beat them or something like that, mm -hmm. and, they, and they turned to the Lord, mm -hmm. the, what happens is in that struggle of death, where somebody's trying to bring mm -hmm. death to you, the Lord was always there. But you should go back and thank that person because mm -hmm. he brought you to the Lord. Mm -hmm. When you can no longer handle something, who is the first person you holler for? God. You Jesus. holler for Tell the me. Lord, right? Uh, and so, therefore, that person who brought you, called himself, bringing you death and destruction, may, mm -hmm. will make you stronger in the Lord because there's nobody else can help you. So you go turn to the Lord. And when you turn to the Lord, you're supposed to go back to that person and say, thank you. And Proverbs because 18. Of your, because of your act. Mm -hmm. Of trying to destroy me wow. had brought me, made me bigger, greater, and I found out who I really am because I, in turn, turned to Jesus. Yeah. So you and go and to that person a, and thank him. Why not? Yeah. 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 You try Sometimes to hurt me. You, I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you, you know, I shouldn't be mad at you. Right. It. Okay. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you go to work, you get paid. You ain't mad at your boss. Right. Okay. You are trying to hurt me. I understand you tried to hurt me, but look what it. God had a plan. God had the plan. It was never your plan or my plan. Mm -hmm. That's true. So okay. it brought me to Jesus. Should I be mad at you? <laughs> <laughs> now. You, you, you know, you literally brought Jesus to my door. Right. Should I be mad at you? No. Oh. Okay. No way. And, and, and we got always, and, and that's true. Time seems like it goes so fast. But remember also Proverbs 18, 21. Uh, um, what is it? Uh, the life and death is in the oh. power of the tongue, and it's up here in your head. It'll come out. So, is it life or is it death? Amen. Yeah, yeah amen. We give yeah. praise and honor to God for this wonderful, beautiful day. We give praise for the Word of God, and you can read all this in Romans chapter twelve, Philippians two and two, Colossians one and ten. It's, this all scriptural. So. We, we don't never want to leave without a scripture that it's the word of God. Again, I'm Evangelist Donna Jones. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Daryl. I'm just honored to have another day to get it right, another get day to spread the word of God that somebody will accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And you can go to Romans 10, 9 and 10 to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and say, Lord, come into my life. God bless you for be you. Say, say bye. bye. <laughs> Thank you.